I got my fan going. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What is it? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, gotta get that one. Get that one right. Get, make sure to get it right. Yeah. Right. That's right, it's getting rid of all that shit in you that's sweating out your armpits. That, that's what it's doing, it's taking it away out there instead of out your armpits. Well, what I did, well, I this morning, yeah. and just after lunch, I came home, I don't want to finish the week. Maybe I had a while, we had a little morning lunch, and I took another tree. So I was taking an eight minute Oh man, I, I, I feel like walking. So I'm walking on, on, on a box of nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, as, you, as long as you can get the formula right, you'll be right to... to well, the I don't know now, I'm just going to change my, 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 my medication around to that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it just... Well, well, you know, I can't even lie down, because I, it's just no, it's just no in me, you know, to breathe. Yeah, I'm yeah. Now, I'm not having a bad tissue, I want the pain to go. Oh, yeah 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 i think it it does matter to get your thing pills right because you've got a, a number of other ones that might be going the opposite like that's what the doctors and the nurse gave me, uh, different pills and made me worse. And so I, I said, no, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm cutting them all together, but some of them work good. Some some of them work good. Yeah, so they they'll only go on how you how you're reacting, and and what's best for you because they they uh, they have more problems when you come in with something else and they they still have to mix up and get up the right uh, right. I mean they're making assessment where where you are the one that feels it, you know whether it's good for you or not. You you're the one that's taking them. And telling them, oh, that's no good, or that's good. See? Well, well, you know, there's a lot of living. You know, you know, living. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm not sure what a little bit of two weeks or something, three weeks with a bunny living. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, I mean, it's just like that. Well, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's flushing you out, which is, yeah. a, which is a good thing. That's better than anything to keep the fluids going through you. Yeah. It, it cleans yeah. your system out. Well, it's got to come out, otherwise it stacks up, that's why, that's why, yeah, that's why, you, oh, burger, oh, good, that sounds good, yeah, man, hey, man, 
Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. I went over to Mangri to get me some kinners and the fellow says, Oh, this tomorrow. I said, What's today? And they said he said, It's Tuesday. I said, Shush, I thought it was Wednesday. <laughs> so I, I come back with no kinner, uh, but never mind. <laughs> so uh, you got a burger for dinner. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so as long as you keep your health right because you're going to need to be on your toes when uh, when things swing into action. And, yeah, and, yeah. and I tell you what, I'm getting myself geared up for, you know, because with a lot of things going on, you got, you yeah. got, you got to be up to scratch. Otherwise, it's very difficult for you to keep up, to manage the, the place if you haven't got someone to do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, out of the what? Yeah, yeah. No, they were doing that. They've been doing that all along, even even down in Tuhe. Yeah, even in Tuhe. Yeah, that's in the white power. In the white power. Yeah, that's what's going to happen now. There's lots of questions being asked. I can tell on my Facebook that people they are starting to ask questions what I'm saying, and even Kahi, he he he's having a fistful of things to say up up there now because. They're being duped into this thing, Maori. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to those Pakias. Everything Maori belongs to the Pakias. You see, and 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 it looks good, but they've got no control over it. You see, if they change. Oh yeah, and. Uh, yeah. 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 That's right. That's that's that. Oh yeah. 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 That's right. Especially that's that's the same in Tuhoi. You know, I've been talking to those ones down there. It's the same. They're knocking Jim around, Jim Wickelty. They've knocked them right out of the way. And 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 even the the lady when I rang her up, she says, "Oh, uh, the the Morai over there where I'm talking about is not in their space." And I was going to say, "What space?" You might not have any space left. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what's happening with those young people. They're taking over the blooming old people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. You, you see what... What, what, what? Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, so that's what's happening. The, the, yeah. These young people have ignored the Komatuas 
and 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 because the corporate's letting them do it. The corporate is the corporate Maori doesn't care about anybody. They only care about themselves. That's why it's going haywire. The sooner they knock those iwi trusts out of the way, the better. The trust, the trust. That's what's going to happen. They, they, Bundy and them can knock them out of the way because they know what we're doing. They know we're going to come up with the power note on top of their heads. They know that. They know. They know what this plan is. It's not for ourselves. It's for everybody. And but we're doing the hard yards this way, and and they're doing the hard yards that way. But we we let them. We let them go and fire them. Because now they know the true story is coming out. You see? It's this, there's one type of Maori and there's the other Maori. The other Maori is the crooked Maori. What? The <laughs> so so the, the real Maori is going to boot the other Maori's ass <laughs> right out. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's, that's the way I see it. The, marriage, the, the real marriage is going to go and boot them out. Tell them, bugger off, you know, get off and, and do it ourselves. We've got a plan to cover everything for them. If, if, if Bundy and all those other guys can do it, then we've got a plan to, to cover ourselves to make our own way. You see? We're, 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 uh, I've gone through a lot of trouble to set that up. And so it'll work. I can see it'll work. And um, the sooner I get an answer back, I've just wrote, wrote a email to to my my uh, uh, private investigator, he's in America. I bet I know what he's gone there for. Some more fraud, you see? And so uh, his co-worker co co here has told me just email him and I'm, I'm going to put the asset on them to get going, to get, get Cook Street straight away and the motel down on the land block at, at, uh, at uh, Rotten Point, get, get it straight away. And, and we'll be in business. The sooner he gets it done, the better. And I just see, he hasn't said to me how much his costs are because he wasn't too bothered about that. And I think he knows what's coming. You know, he, he can make a lot of money out of what I'm doing um, um, uh, and peel it off. If, if, if we get this uh, through, if we get it through on Friday, then we've got legal right to do anything. And I think those people up north are, are watching who's going to make a mistake in front of me and you. <laughs> who's going to make a mistake? <laughs> yes, it's serious. I'm, 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 I'm not calling anybody's bluff. I'm just saying you either got it or you haven't. I said, you, your whakapapa is stolen. How can you prove that that you got your own whakapapa. What's this Tera Waikato thing, and what's this with Horitikuri, and what's this with Refere of Manika? Then they can't answer. I can tell you, they can't answer that question. And so I say, right, that's it. That's it. Really? Now, I'm just going to put it all together for, for, for Friday to make another one more settlement. This Friday's meeting is a settlement to settle the accounts and give it to the British. And tell the British, go and seize the whole place. You watch. You watch what happens. <laughs> but um, um, uh, my, my barrister, um, he might be able to do it from there, from America where he is, because he's got agents all over the world. And they can, they can go straight in and get it for me. If, they, if he puts somebody onto it, uh, like uh, once he gets a letter from um, the, the lawyer tomorrow, I should have enough from what you gave me to pay him the cash, right? That's why I've held it and not spent too much of it for that, for that reason. And we can top it up or whatever, but we, we, there should be enough to cover him uh, for, for, from 2.30 two, from onwards. And he should be able to do those documents in the afternoon. So, so that will tie the documents up to seal for that that uh, private investigator, and I'm hoping that he'll he'll get the land block uh, um, um, by was well, by by next week. If he can get me that land block next week, then we're right in.
you can be assured your block will be flying. <laughs> Everything will be flying. Yeah. yeah. I'll just I'll just write the power note and that's the end of everybody who's a crook. Yeah? Watch me with that power note, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal to anybody in the bloody road. <laughs> I think these fellows I think uh, those 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 fellows up north they they know what's coming. You see? Then they'll say, oh, we shouldn't have kicked John off. He brought those young fellows off. It wasn't ours. <laughs> yeah. and the young fellows kicked me off like, uh, to keep my right. And just as well, Morris came and rescued me. See? Otherwise, otherwise, we wouldn't be this far ahead. Between me and you, we wouldn't be getting ahead. You see? That does. It, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're gonna make a move. They're gonna make a move to boot the government. I think that's that's what they're gonna do. But I'm I'm I don't want the government to go out. I want them to look after their own people. You see, because if someone else comes in and runs the government, they could run it right out in worse problems. Any, anybody, anybody coming to run that government wouldn't have the title in the first place. The British won't let them. It, I'm telling the British to come here and do it. To come to run you here. I, I, I've got all that land block at the, at the mouth for the military to set up there. I've done that for a long time and, and so they can come straight in there to, to police the Pacific Ocean. See? and set, set up their base there and take over the United States with this flag. I'm going to make this flag take over the whole bloody British Empire. That, that's what's going to happen as far as I'm concerned from here, from us. And we're just, like every other country, just a number in their game, in their game of corporates. See? Yeah. So you and I are more corporate in that game, that we can match them in their game. You see, the Maoris can't do that because they're still flicking around like little infants in the other side. They can't, they can't come into this without their title for one thing and, and the rest of history on top of it. Right? A, track, a track record, that's what it is. See, all those, all those people who say they're they, they descend to 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 Hori Tukuri. That's fine, but they have to stay in that side. They they can't come in this side because they have nothing to come over in with. Right? I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised if any of them got any deeds left because they would have cashed them up. Right? They would have cashed them up, or the crown would have settled them in the treaty settlements. Yeah. There might be one or two with deeds, but they, they won't let anybody see them. But that, if they don't, well, they're out of the game. I'm, I'm taking the whole thing out one shot with, with those two Manukau's. The Manukau family can't even go into it either. You see? It's just like you going to buy a car. It's your contract with the car, right? You've got your name on it, nobody else's. It's just the same here with this country. It's got Hori Tikuri's name on it and those two markers. That's it. That's it. They're the ones. They're the ones that set it up to allow all the other immigrants to come here. The Queen let them in, like what she's doing now, letting all those bloody Muslims in. It's doing the same thing, flooding the whole place out with Muslims. And everybody else to kill each other. That's what they've done. Saturated the whole place out with thugs from Australia. All those stuff from Australia, those are the Maoris that are running the place. See? <laughs> the, the rogue blood. <laughs> You've got a good blood. It's those other, other Kutu bloods that, that are running the country. You see? We're, we're winning a court against them. If we went to court, they'd lose. Big time. Yeah? If we went to a court like, like how you would, if you went to a court, you would win in, in, with anything. 
and and the same with us. If we went to Britain, we'd win. I, I can I can tell you that right now. That nobody nobody would, would uh, come near anything like this. Right? Yeah. It's a good it's a good thing though. But if it was in the wrong hands, it would go haywire. If 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 anybody had what I've got here, this whole place will be in trouble. Yeah, we're, we're sitting on a gold mine here. I've got all the books already now. They're all, they're all bound up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um, um, screen print them, and then and then get them ready for tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it will be done tomorrow. If that's all done, I got my box to put them all in to get ready to send down. But that'll be I'll, I'll I'll take them to the meeting, right? I'm going to take, take them to the meeting, I'm going to video them there so that we've got a good handle before I send them down to Wellington. And I'm going to put another document together for us to, uh, um, uh, to support, um, support what we have done. There's, nobody's going to be in a contract with what we do. The, uh, whatever they sign, it just signs from that marae in what we're doing. It's only me and, there's only me and you in this, in this contract. There can't be anybody else in it because we're going into battle with the other people that are contractors. The, the Iwi Maori. We're going. We're up against the Iwi Maori corporates. It's either they've got the title or we've got it. That put it that way. Sonny Toe and them. You know his house is is, is next to my friend Myra Hoffman in in on his track in Rotorua. He's in that rich place over there where all the millions millionaires are. Sonny Toe, that's where he lives. He lives over there. He's, he's living well to do. See, they've got all the money for themselves. They don't care about anybody. All, all those people. They're running a business. It's nothing to do with anything. They're running a business. That's why you have to pay when you go on the Marae. Right? right? We're the exception. <laughs> They're the exception. Our, our mate in Tawunga Waka Marae, we're the exception. Uh, that's our marae, any time we want it, mate. <laughs> but the talking's over. I don't want any more talking. Uh, we, we set ourselves in. No, that's good that you're, you're, you're feeling better. That's good. Yeah, no, that's good news. That's good news. I just to make sure, because this bloody heat man can kill you. The 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 squad thing. Hey, you know, and and you must put it around the bloody. Hmm. Uh, long way. I'm I'm getting in the. Better talk to your boss, your boss, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, I oh, I I did this before, but I took no notice of it. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's just... Yeah, well, so, so you, so so your 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 armpits should be it, it, it should be smell all right now. Yeah. I'm not getting that. What you smell me? Hunger, hunger. Yeah, yeah. So so you it's getting out. You you you're getting rid of it in the liquids. Yeah. 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 Ah. And water, man, you should have a filter water. Filter water. Oh, oh your water might be alright there. It's the dirty water in the town waters. They've got all that chlorine and stuff. Yours is from the yours is from there, that's alright. Your water's alright. It's all the water. Okay, well, it's up to you, but don't don't rush. There's no, there's no need to rush. You better come down on Friday, so you can. Um, yeah, come down on Friday. Plenty of time to get here. You don't have to be late or anything like that. It won't go without you anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's all right. You come and go take your time down when it's cooler, and and um, so there's no rush. That way, we can get things set down here before you go back up. I didn't want to rush. I want to make sure your your phone's here before we go. I'll ring them up after our hui up, um, up in um, uh, Ipsum. And What's that? We're going to pick up the computer, the whole complete set of it, in Swanson when we go back up. Uh, I was just going to get you a printer and, and a little stick to go in, in to save your memory stuck, stick so uh, I don't know whether you can operate a printer or whether you need one but if you wanted to print it then you can go down to the library with the stick and print it out there uh, that's up to you whether you want a printer or not they're, they're cheaper enough they're only cheap they're only about they're only about 60 bucks for a bloody printer so so you, yeah, now we'll go and pick one up. That's all we need to both do. Pick the printer up and a, a stick to put in, to put your memory in for, for saving files and things. But um, but I'll teach you what to do anyway. It's just a little backup. Um, uh, so that's all you need. And, and uh, I think the Wi-Fi, it's a while, goes straight into that thing, but I'll get the little wireless one as well. The little wireless, the little wireless one. Um, um, that goes in the back. It's only a little thing. We'll get that. We'll, we'll go and pick that up when you come down. That's why now that Marianne's not coming, we don't have to rush to get back up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 that's all right. She can carry on working. And you, you... Yeah, no. We'll do the business and get this out of the road, and then we've got more things. Yeah. Yes. No. No. She needs. She needs to be. She needs to be. She needs her rest. So no, it, we just we just get this out of the way because our things are up there now, uh, after the hui, and the hui is only short time anyway. So there's no need for her to come down. I'm not going to be all day hui and I'm finished with any hui now. So we... Uh, yeah, I want to get out of Auckland, but I want to make sure we got everything before we go. Because I'm going to... Um, no, we can, we can get it on when we go back up north. Because it's on the way up anyway, we just shortcut through the back and back on the motorway again. I, I can go back through the back way, through Kumio, Kumio back on the motorway. We, we go from Auckland, and after we save the gas from going all the way up there and back again. So, so when we, yeah, I do. Yeah, we come out of Kumio and then back on the motorway. We get, get, yeah, so so that'll save a lot of time and effort, and and uh, we'll, I'll just make sure you got everything before we go up. And if, if need be, you can stay here overnight if we if we if we if we, we we haven't got everything ready. But we should have everything done. Okay, we'll go back up. We'll wait till it gets we'll wait till it gets cool in the night, and I can drive in the night. I'm I'm, I'm better at driving at night. Um, my eyes are good at night time, and it's cooler. Once once we finish, we'll just wait till it gets cooled off in the evening. After the Yeah, yeah, so you've got plenty of time to do that after the meeting. We'll come straight back here, get your car done, and then uh, and then we've got all afternoon here um, to have some dinner and then and have a little rest, and then we wait for the traffic to die, and then we'll, we'll head off back, we'll head off up north about 7 or uh, 7.30 or something. That, 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 that way we've, I've got a better run uh, to drive up to. Yeah, and there's no money on the road. Huh? That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... 
And the mayor, I'm the mayor of Tahike, <laughs> and I live on Baker Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's bloody hot, man. I got my fan going for now. Yes. Oh. Have you got the door? Have you, have, you got, have you got the door open or shut? Oh, you, you want to get a get thing to get thing to make you a door with with a with a chicken mesh on it, a door a door a frame and just put it out the front, on on the front door and leave it open and put put the mesh there. Just get a frame and knock it up. Yeah. Yeah, well, they'll kill them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's what you should do. Make a door of chicken mesh and, and so you can, the wind can come in and he can run around. No, no, I've got a cage thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, chicken, chicken things will run around. You, you put them outside, then he got fresh air then, under the tree. He, he, can, he can sit down under the tree. Yeah, yeah, feel like that. You get meow all day then. <laughs> well, we, have, we, have, we can't even get a fly or a bus or fly everything in the house or fly that. He's got to go and catch him and kill him in the morning. Must be. He don't like, he, he don't like your food, he like a fly. <laughs> Yeah, now you're lucky. You're lucky you haven't got mosquitoes, man, because no mosquitoes around at night time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. That's good. That's good. You're gonna to have to be fit, man. I'm. I'm gonna to have to be fit. I can't wait to finish all this so I can go to the bloody gym. I've been. I've been missing going to the gym because. I've got no time to go there. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to it yet. Yeah, when I come up there, I'm going to jump on your, your treadmill and make it spin yeah. like hell. I'm going to spin it off its, off its steering. And, and when when I get off it, you jump on the way you go. Okay? <laughs> no, you can't break it. They made, they made, they made got big bearings in them, mate. <laughs> They got be berries for Kenworth <laughs> and low loaders. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm happy, mate. I'm feel I'll tell you, you don't know how I feel today. You don't know how, how I feel relieved that I finished binding up all these bloody documents and, and, and ready to go. So ready to go. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait till this this uh, this lawyer goes through it. I think he'd be he'd be he'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that the public knows before before they try and hide anything. You see? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I need to go down to Wellington. I just have to. It's best to just pay pay whatever the wait is of the box with thirty two of these books in it. It's it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Now they'll get the safely on the courier. I'll just, I'll just make. I've got some boxes here now. I, 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 there were some on the side of the road, some heavy ones. And so I'll just put them because it was eight dollars fifty just for a bloody box at the post shop. And 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 but these ones, I'll, I'll put them in and see if they'll fit. And then I'll seal it all up myself. And then, uh, when, well, that's when I send it. I send them on Monday next week. So it'll take another seven days after that to get back. And when, the, um, but I'm hoping that the, 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 the private investigator can start going to seize the property, and and before these documents come back, he's not too bothered about the documents being apostolized. He just wants to let it. That's all. Hmm. Yeah, mate. Well, 
I'm going to make me some dinner. I don't know what I'm going to have. I think I'll have a noodle, a hot, hot Thai noodle. I like hot noodles, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like that duck noodle one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got some. They, they got some bargains in our shop of noodles. It's called Fresh Choice. I think they got Fresh Choice all over the place. Now four squares. You know, it used to be four squares. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. Okay, mate. Yeah. Chin up. Legs flapping. Legs flapping. Bye. <laughs> Bye, mate. See ya. Now, mate. One thing about Morris. I like the guy. I, I like the guy because he's got a nice soft heart and he listens. He, he listens, he thinks, and he investigates. Those, those are the things I really get on with him because we have a mission. Him and I have a mission. Just as normal people. You see, he's been in the hard times in his time. He's been managing um, pubs and things. And I've been managing mechanic shops and mechanics uh, business in alternative fields. That's LPG, CNG and cars. I did a lot of those. I did a few for a lot of people. And um, so we've got our trades. Mine's in engineering and I've got a few machines lined up but I've got this in mind I've worked out the st statistics on buildings it's quicker if I bought everything from China and the ship that's the way I think the ship, the trucks, the lot stick them by the tons they buy by the tons it's the steel by the tons and ship the whole lot with one big ship. The ship I had in mind is 120 meter long. Not too long, but between 90 and 120 meters long. But I want to make sure that when I get around to it, a big ship to carry one section of the tidal energy turbine platform, the whole thing, buildings and all. That's the ship I wanted. It's more or less a um, cargo ship, flat deck cargo ship that the thing opens up and things go in like grain and stuff, corn, whatever, goes in and shuts. So I can put other stuff in there and I really wanted to put water in there, water. Um, mineral water in big stainless tanks in there, in the ship, so that it can carry water and steel and all sorts in the hull, then it can have nothing in, in the big turbine platform on the top. It's 60 metres wide, 60 metres long, 60 metres high, a cube, that big, with everything in it, okay, all, all everything in it. That's one section, they go bang bang behind the other like that. Okay, so that's my model. And all the machinery, everything was quicker to go to Ranfilly Bank and set up a station there. Not an oily one, right? You won't have pollution anywhere in that part of the sea. And I'm hoping to lift the ship off the sea so that we can unload it out there, everything, in a short time. That's why I wanted the thing to open like that, so that the crane can come along and lift the whole lot up, like that one shot, out of the ship, and the ship's gone. 
in the same day it came. Okay? It can unload, shift, load up, another day to load up, and the sections are ready to drop the whole lot in one shot. Okay? Rather than drop one, drop one, drop one, drop one. Containers take up a lot of room and are heavy. I'm going to do away with heavy containers and faster ships, bigger motors and hydrogen. That's our main product is hydrogen, jet fuel, rocket fuel, the power note currency, the water money currency and fraud. Those are our main objectives and the gold coin money of King William IV. X. Okay, so that's all of that. That's all I need to say really. Uh, I don't want to say any more. I've got some work to do. I have to dinner and carry on copying all these books out when it cools down a little bit more. So I'll have a little rest and the way we'll go again. Uh, I'm just going to read you the letter that I wrote to my private investigator. I'll, I'll read it to you before I email it to him in a minute. I'm just going to put his address on it here. Um, over here. He's joined a company of other investigators and he doesn't have his own practice because the numbers went off. Able investigations there. So that number wouldn't work and it went to this other number. So he's joined up by the looks of it with others because the fraud game is big business. Here they have legal investigation, assets checks, asset recovery, criminal defense, evidence gathering, process service, skip tracing, bug sweeping, computer forensics, executive protection, security surveys, undercover agents, vehicle and GPS tracking. So these are some of the things. Identity theft is one, right? That's, I'm having my birth certificate stolen by the police. Matrimonial investigation of missing persons, personal assets checks, background checks, vehicle tracking, GPS tracking, debt collection, right? There, debt collection, counter surveillance, due diligence, employee absenteeism, insurance investigation, surveillance, employee theft, fraud investigations. There, yeah, fraud investigations. Okay, so there's some of the things. New Zealand Premium Licensed Private Investigations Company. So he's in another elite invest investigations. So it looks like he's got, I've ran these numbers, they don't work. His numbers don't work. And I, I, I was a bit worried about what's happened to him. So anyway, I've gone, to, here's my, I'm going to read this out to you, okay? This is my letter from lawyer you asked for Graham Aylett. A letter from a lawyer you asked for Graham Aylett. Graham at theinvestigations.co.nz Tuesday 23rd January 2018 Dear Graham, your colleague spoke to me and said you are in the United States. I have completed all my documents in 32 bound books of case files and mandates from Marae Native Magistrate Courts, 11 in total. I have set up including the for the main oh four main ones both me four main ones Waitangi Marae, Titi Marae, Tahege Marae Marae, oh, look at this I never edit my work in Hokianga first British settlement village Marae and Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland we are holding a final settlement court hearing here there on Friday the 26th of January 2018, which I'm calling up the accounts of those accused as criminal fraudsters, including John Key's Panama Papers, Paradise Papers, and New Zealand dollar, $13 million, New Zealand taxpayers' money, John Key stole for the Hillary Foundation terrorist organization of Hillary Clinton herself under investigation. I have followed these cases over a period of time advertised on my 109 Facebook sites 
and 1,495 YouTube videos citing them every step of the way. I am confident that I will seize 77 Cook Street property now that I have exposed the fraud, Iwi Maori Crown, Corporations, Whakapapa, Historic Land Claims of Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara and Ngāti Whātua o Orake have no title to prove against the Moriori Manukau Kings King George the Fourth private contract title in Edinburgh Magistrate Court to what I claim is stolen title from my ancestors I claim back and if any one of the people I name does not turn up to defend themselves on these lands I call my own as a commercial landowner called Wānoa to Paramount Chiefs Waikato Manukau then they are silent in our Sheriff's Court, Sheriff's Court and Magistrate Court with more than enough evidence, quote, I am my own competent witness, unquote. Author, Native Land Commissioner, appointed, basically appointed, appointed as surrogate King William III, King William IV, King George IV and Surrogate Paramount Chiefs Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau of Maunga Tauteri in Cambridge to Cambridge in England, UK. Referef Manukau of Manukau Marae in Waiuku and Pupanga Marae, Manukau Marae in Cornwallis, Manukau Harbour and Awaroa Marae in Helensville. Huri Tikuri is of Taheke Marae in Hokianga Harbour, Northland. You asked me to provide you with a letter from a lawyer, so I went through through a thorough examination of all my documents and called Tony Fortune of Fortune Manning Lawyers in the Viaduct area, and I will take all 32 bound up documents for him to notarise and seal ready for me to courier to New Zealand Government Internal Affairs and Foreign Affairs Minister for apostoly sealing legalise so that I can start trading directly under the three British Empire kings here and three native chiefs as unrebutted facts-cited evidence, unquote, against all named criminals operating fraud business on my ancestral lands. And this has been made public over a period of time now and the time has arrived to settle accounts. I asked Tony Fortune to draft a letter to you attesting to my authenticity documents as I am the author and commercial landowner in my own native magistrate court since the courts dismissed the New Zealand Police CIB case against me citing police had insufficient evidence to charge me for the incident and I am treating the case as treason against the surrogate king in our own British law system our king's flag is our receipt of jurisdiction to hold our own court hearing that New Zealand courts are corrupted and have no seal of the Queen, no seal of Westminster, no flag jurisdiction over my King's flag sovereign authority, in fact no authority over me now that I have caught them, the Crown Iwi Maori and courts committing crimes that I prove credible and proven. So I'm going ahead after Friday the 26th of January hearing to seize 77 Cook Street on the strength of the letter from Tony Manning tomorrow 24th of January 2018 I have a meeting with him to go ahead with proceedings. Have you someone to cite these documents for you or do I email you the letter from Tony Manning? I have the chiefs from north behind me now to make sure we get the Cook Street property and East Cape properties sorted for me as I am about to legalise the Maui Pound Note apostoly under British King's title jurisdiction transferred here to me, the surrogate King acting. I am wearing the Paramount Chief's coat as a Paramount Chief to these three kings. I still have your cost to consider a priority to get Cook Street seized as soon as possible and my land at Lottom Point, I have battled for years against the Iwi Maori Crown. I have caught them all out legally now, cannot refute mine and Morris Baker's British land title deeds in any court of law. 
I will lose with all my true Whakapapa evidence. Ngāti Whātua Whakapapa is owned by Queen Elizabeth II, New South Wales, New Zealand Crown, private corporations, and not the Māori themselves. They have nothing to do with. King William IV gave the 1834 flag of trade. He did not give it to Māori because there was no Māori in 1823 and 18 to 1945. It's a myth tribe of no substance, fraud identity I am putting an end to on Friday, the 26th of January 2018. America has no license from Britain. 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 UK for our flag license partnership, Six Kings, where paramount means king, where the British king gave the native king a legal commercial landowner the title to trade under the King's British Empire. I am privileged to hold that title now. Do you want me to send a letter from Tony Fortune to you or your colleague Mike Dillon? Tony Manning is an approved notary for checking documents for sealing apostille for British Foreign Affairs and New Zealand Internal Affairs legislation. I have devoted 20 years to proving who I am and proving who Maori are not an original tribe but a corporate crown New South Wales New Zealand patented tribe short of my crown, my Wanoa, Tahitian royal family tribe. I am the paramount chief descendant, male dominant descendant, I'm a chief descendant, I am of a, a paramount chief descendant Paramount chief descent, male dominant descendant of, as executor of the Moriori native tribe at Pohara Marae in Cambridge, where my father in law family lives. I'm opening up the 12th Pohara Marae Native Magistrate Court, the main link to King George IV's private contract with Tira Waikato Wharehe and Manukau, commercial landowner of that Marae. Of is Ohara Marae. Marae I succeed to. Now well known and online unopposed. Maori cannot prove they are a tribe because the New Zealand Corporation owns the tribe which is a direct threat against our my native, native national flag of New Zealand investment bank interests. Can you instruct him from America? Um, can you instruct is this for his name? I can find his name. What's his name? Oh. Oh. Mike. Mike. Can you instruct Mike? Uh, name, Mike. Mike. Here. Here. From America. To make provision to seize Cook Street after my Friday native court hearing. Last chance for the any accused to show. Otherwise, it is a treble defaulted private contract on all of them one at a time. I have cited the X in our legal court of jurisdiction because the courts here in New Zealand failed me. I never got my day in Auckland District Court. It is every means to arrest these fraudster criminals. Can't keep getting away with it, especially John Key, fraud criminal. My manager in Scotland, Jackie Little Gordon and Matt Taylor in Brighton, England, is all set to go in our proposed company office in Paddington and office in Edinburgh where Tira Waikato native title is as a prison case to the world's native indigenous countries. I am investigating all native titles under these three kings authority jurisdiction. Note that all birth certificate titles came from my own St Mary's Church in Tikiti East Cape on my own Marae in land blocks in 1831 and the first British resident magistrate office in Rangitukia on my own 
Haho land block there on the Waipa River mouth. I'm seizing back to bring the British military and Navy military base to the Pacific. I'm asking the British military to seize the country as a state of emergency flag jurisdiction order. My pound note paid in advance contract. I await your favourable reply. Sincerely, John Wanoa. So that's to Graham Allen. And I've just got to put the address up here of the business and his address. Um, so I'll do that now. I'll do that now. Don't forget, those are all, uh, some of them, and the other ones in that bag over there. Down there, and there's the boxes over there. I'm going to put the documents in and make sure they fit. I'll fit them in tonight to see if they fit. Then I'll screen print a whole lot of them, the 32 books, big long time. I've got today and tomorrow to do it. So, uh, so I'll just put the address here. Investigations. Where is he? Okay, he never was there. He's here now. The investigators. And that number didn't work either. Oh yeah, that did. Investigators. Okay. The investigators. Investigators. There are investigations. Where's the address? Where's the address? Contact us. Home. Where's home? Here's the verse. Okay. Oh, I see they got a few. Central, Central Constable Major, Fine Squad. I saw all the people that are in it. Constable Criminal Respect Department. Fine Sergeant. Ben, uh, oh, he must be running all of this. Graham has over 25 years experience in policing and investigation. He's a former detective sergeant, New Zealand Police, and former detective sergeant, Metropolitan Police UK. He was the lead investigator of the London terrorist bombings of the London transport system. Graham has over 25 years experience in investigation. He is an ex-detective sergeant of the New Zealand Police and an ex-detective sergeant of Metropolitan Police in London, England. 20 years policing service in a, as a detective capacity based in New Scotland Yard. Graham was a lead investigator of the London terrorist bombings in seven, of 7th July 2005 and subsequent investigations of those responsible for attempting bombing of the London transport system 21st of July 2005. In case officer to this investigation, his tenacity led to successful conviction of 16 terrorists who are now serving imprisonment of 
in excess of 450 years. His role in the trial led to judge commendation for his outstanding professionalism, commitment and dedication to his duty. So, um, 